a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Kylian Mbappé Kylian Mbappé Lottin is a French professional footballer who plays as a forward for Ligue 1 club Paris Saint-Germain and the France national team. At the age of 19, he has been labelled the best young player in the world and has been projected as the future best player in the world. Mbappé came into prominence at an early age, starring for the youth academy at Bundy before gaining a move to Monaco, where he made his professional debut in 2015, aged 16. Mbappé then quickly established himself as a regular goal scorer for the first team in the 2016-17 season, as he helped the club gain their first League One title in 17 years. A year later, he transferred to Paris Saint-Germain for €180 million, Euros, making him the most expensive teenager, and the world's second most expensive player. In his debut season in the French capital, Mbappé featured heavily as the club captured a domestic treble of Ligue 1, Coupe de France, and Coupe de la Ligue. Mbappé made his senior debut for France in 2017. At the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Mbappé became the youngest French player to score at a World Cup and became the second teenager, after Pelé, to score in a World Cup final. He finished as the joint second-highest goal scorer as France won the tournament, and received the Best Young Player award for his performances. Early Life Mbappé was born in Paris, France. His father, Wilfried Mbappé, is from Cameroon, and, as well as being his agent, is a football coach, while his mother, Faisal Lamari, is of Algerian origin and is a former handball player. He has a younger brother, Ethan Mbappe, who plays for Psji under 12s. His adoptive brother, Jaiz Kembo Ikoko, is also a professional football player. Growing up, his idol was Cristiano Ronaldo, a player he looked to emulate. Early career Mbappe began his career at Asbundi, coached by his father, Wilfried another of his youth coaches at Husband D. Antonio Riccardi, stated, eventually he moved to the Clairefontaine Academy, putting on a host of impressive performances leading to numerous French clubs, and Real Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, and Bayern Munich, attempting to sign him. Mbappé travelled to London for a trial with Chelsea when he was 11, playing a match for their youth team against Charlton Athletic. He ultimately settled on Monaco. 2015-16 season Mbappe made his first team debut on 2 December 2015 in a 1-1 League 1 home draw against SM Khan, replacing Fabio Coentrao after 88 minutes. He therefore became Monaco's youngest ever first team player aged 16 years 347 days, and breaking Thierry Henry's record set 21 years previously. On 20 February 2016, Mbappé scored his first goal for the club's first team, a stoppage time goal in a home league 1-3-1 win over Troyes. At the age of 17 years and 62 days, he became the youngest first team goal scorer in Monaco's history, once again displacing Henry in the process. On 6 March 2016, Mbappé signed his first professional contract, a three-year deal, tying him Monaco until June 2019. In an interview with CNN, Vadim Vasilyev, as Monaco's vice president, who played a key role in Mbappe signing his first professional contract with the Ligue 1 club, stated that he knew early on that Mbappe was a phenomenon. 2016-17 season Mbappe scored the first hat-trick of his first team career on 14 December 2016 in the 7-0 route of Stade René in the Coupe de la Ligue round of 16 at the Stade Louis II the first hat-trick scored by any Monaco player in the competition since Sonny Anderson in 1997. On of February 2017, Mbappe scored the first Ligue 1 hat-trick of his career in the 5-0 home win over Mets. At 18 years, and two months he became the youngest player to score a League One hat-trick since Jeremy Maynard did it for FC Sochaux Mourne Belia back in 2005. On the 21st of February, 
Mbappe scored Monaco's second goal in the 40th minute with a half volley after receiving Fab Benhaus long ball over the opponent's backline in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 first leg match against Manchester City, which Monaco lost 5-3. On 5 March, Mbappe scored two first half goals in the 4-0 League 1 home win over FC Nantes to bring his League 1 career tally to 10 goals and become the youngest player in the last 30 years to hit the League One slash Division One 10 career goals mark. His brace against Nantes on the 5th of March brought up his 2016-2017 season tally to nine League One goals and five League One assists in just 822 minutes of League One football. On the 11th of March, he scored a goal in the 2-1 League One home win against FC Girondins de Bordeaux to register his seventh League One goal in his last four starts. In the UEFA Champions League round of 16 seconds leg match at the Stade de Louis II on 15 March, he made the score 1-0 for Monaco in the eighth minute by turning home Bernardo Silva's low cross from close range to help Monaco beat Manchester City 3-1 and advance to the quarter-finals on the away goals rule. In the quarter-finals against Borussia Dortmund, Mbappe won a penalty and scored two goals as Monaco won the away leg 3-2. In the second leg, Mbappe opened the scoring as Monaco won 3-1 and advanced to the semi-finals. Monaco were eliminated from the Champions League 4-1 on aggregate by Juventus, with Mbappe scoring Monaco's lone goal in the second leg. Mbappe ended the 2016-17 season with 26 goals from 44 matches in all competitions as Monaco won the League One title. 2017-18 season, loan. On 31 August 2017, Paris Saint-Germain announced the signing of Mbappe from Monaco on loan. The fee required for a subsequent full transfer was set at a rumoured €145 million Euros plus €35 million Euros in add-ons, making him the most expensive teenager ever, and potentially the second most expensive player ever, behind teammate Neymar. He was handed the number 29 shirt upon arrival in the French capital. He scored on his debut on 8 September in a 5-1 Ligue 1 win at Metz, in which Benoit Asuicotto was sent off for fouling him. Four days later, Mbappe recorded his first European goal for Le Parisien in a 5-0 UEFA Champions League group stage away defeat of Celtic. He starred in PSG's 3-0 victory over Bayern Munich in the second group game of the Champions League setting up goals for Edinson Cabani and Neymar, the latter seeing him taking out a defender with a feint by rolling the ball under his foot. On 6 December, Mbappe scored his 10th Champions League goal in a 3-1 defeat to Bayern Munich and became the youngest player to reach that mark at the age of 18 years and 11 months, having won his first league title with the club. On 8 May 2018, Mbappe played as PSG 1-2-0 against Le Herbiers VF to clinch the 2017-18 Coupe de France. 2018-19 season In July 2018, Mbappe was given the number 7 jersey for the upcoming season with PSG, taking up the squad number vacated by Lucas Moura. Sporting the hashtag 7Lian, Mbappe stated, I keep trying to progress on the pitch, and I think that, for me, it was the right time to change number. It is something of an affirmation. The number 7 shirt is a legendary one and many greats have worn it. I hope that I will be able to do this number justice on the pitch. In his first appearance of the season, Mbappe scored twice in the last 10 minutes as PSG won 3-1 against Gengon in League 1. In the following league game, the front three of Mbappe, Cabani and Neymar all scored in a 3-1 win over Angers at home with Mbappe starting his first game of the season scoring from a volley, and setting up Neymar to score the third. On 1 September, he scored and assisted in a 4-2 away win over Nîmes, but was sent off for the first time in his career with a straight red card in injury time, after shoving Toji Savania in retaliation for a late challenge from behind, for which Savania was also sent off. Regarding his sending off, Mbappe told reporters after the match, if I had the chance to do it over again, I would do the same thing. I will apologize to the supporters and everybody, but I cannot tolerate this sort of thing. On 8 October, Mbappe scored four goals in just 13 minutes in a 5-0 home victory over Lyon, and became the youngest player to score four goals in one game in League One over the last 45 seasons. International Career 
Mbappe capped a fine debut senior season at Monaco by scoring five times for France as they won the 2016 UEFA European Under-19 Championship. The striker almost single-handedly securing their spot in the final with a sparkling performance in their 3-1 victory against Portugal in the semi-finals. Mbappe was called up to the senior France squad for the first time to face Luxembourg and Spain in March 2017. He made his debut on 25 March 2017 against the former, coming on for Dimitri Payet in the 78th minute of a 3-1 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification away win. In doing so, he became the second youngest player to ever feature for France at 18 years, 3 months and 5 days old. On 31 August 2017, Mbappe scored his first senior international goal in a 2018 World Cup qualification match against the Netherlands. He scored twice against Russia in a friendly in March 2018. 2018 World Cup On 17 May 2018, Mbappe was called up to the France squad for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. On 21 June 2018, he scored his first World Cup goal in France's 1-0 Group C win over Peru. This made him the youngest French goalscorer in World Cup history at age 19. On 30 June 2018, he was named man of the match in a 4-3 win over Argentina, scoring twice and suffering a foul in the box which resulted in Antoine Griezmann opening the score from a penalty kick. Mbappe was the second teenager to score two goals in a World Cup match after Pelé in 1958. In a post-match press conference, Mbappe stated, it's flattering to be the second one after Pelé, but let's put things into context Pelé is in another category. On 15 July, Mbappe scored with a 25-yard strike against Croatia in the 2018 World Cup final, with France winning 4-2. He became the second teenager, after Pelé, to score in a World Cup final. And with four goals in the tournament he received the FIFA World Cup Best Young Player Award. Pelé congratulated him on social media, and stated, Welcome to the club. Style of play Mbappe has been described by Arsene Vengu as a huge football talent, who has similarities to Thierry Henry. His talent and precocious performances for France at the 2018 World Cup also led him to be compared to Pelé in the media. A versatile forward, Mbappe often plays as a winger, and is capable of playing on either flank, due to his ability with either foot. He is capable of cutting into the centre onto his stronger right foot from the left wing, and is also capable of creating chances, and providing assists for teammates from the right due to his vision. He is also able to play in the centre as a main striker, due to his composure, clinical finishing, and eye for goal. A highly skillful player. Mbappe is also known for his excellent dribbling ability, as well as his explosive acceleration, agility, quick feet, and creativity when in possession of the ball, as demonstrated by his use of elaborate feints, such as step-overs, or sudden changes of pace or direction to beat opponents in one-on-one -on -one situations. In spite of his tall lean frame, he is also an athletic player, gifted with physical strength. In addition to his technical skills, Mbappe is also highly regarded for his outstanding pace and close ball control when dribbling at speed, as well as his intelligent movement and ability to beat the defensive line by making attacking runs into space both on and off the ball. His ability to time his runs enables him to stretch opposing defenses, and also make him a dangerous offensive threat on counter-attacks. Regarding Mbappe's ability to run at defenses, former France international Nicolas Anelka stated, He reminds me of Ronaldo of the 1996 Olympics. He has the characteristics of a world-class player and he must manage them properly. If he follows Ronaldo's career, oh phenomenon, he will be one of the legends that has made history in the sport. When Stefan de Frey, central defender for Inter Milan in the Netherlands, was asked of his toughest opponent, he placed Mbappe ahead of anyone else, including Mbappe's childhood idol Cristiano Ronaldo. Personal life in a 2018 interview with Time, Mbappe spoke about the sacrifices he made as a teenager to focus on his football development. I did not have the moments of so-called normal people during adolescence, like going out with friends, enjoying good times. But despite missing out on a normal life, Mbappe states he is living the life he always dreamed of, 
Just over two years after making his professional debut he has over 20 million Instagram followers. While he has admits his life has been totally turned upside down since he first entered the spotlight, he says he is happy. Media and Sponsorship Mbappe has a sponsorship deal with sportswear and equipment supplier Nike. In 2017, his prodigious talent saw Nike launch his own personalized football boots at age 18, the Kylian Mbappe Nike Hyper Venom 3. In 2018, he unveiled the Nike Mercurial Superfly Vi boots which were inspired by the R9 Mercurial boots of former Brazilian striker Ronaldo. Mbappe features in EA Sports FIFA video game series. On FIFA 18 he had the highest potential rating of 94. His trademark goal celebration posing with his arms folded and hands tucked under his armpits was inspired by his younger brother Ethan who would celebrate in this manner when beating Killian at FIFA. The celebration appears in FIFA 19. Philanthropy On the 22nd of February 2018, Mbappe was joined by two of Africa's greatest strikers former AC Milan forward and current Liberia president George Weir, and former Chelsea forward Didier Drogba. In a meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron and FIFA President Gianni Infantino at the Elysee Palace in Paris that focused on a sports development project in Africa, Mbappe stated that the development of African sport is important to him due to his parents' African origins. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries would you like to know more?